but I won't do that. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So welcome back, everybody. This morning's Girl Talk inspired by an article in the Sunday Gleaner that has sparked a lot of debate. It features a 65-year-old couple, their relationship and forgiveness. And this morning, based on that, we're asking the question, what would you do for love? Um, the article about Rudolph and Carol Brown celebrating 65 years of marriage was pegged as an article of love and forgiveness. I saw people asking if she was doing the, if he was doing the loving and she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, for Carol, a woman who has been very involved in her church, she has had to deal with infidelity and abandonment at times. But her love and the vows she made so long ago still mean a great deal to her, says the article. Um, so she was 16 when she met him. They were living far away from each other. Young love. And then got they got married at 19. Got married at 19. 19. Um, she says her loyalty was put to the test when he started straying and flying away like a bird. Mm -mm. Um, in my wild man, you know, I'm so I never worry myself. Bird. I just love my children, them, eight of them, and take care of them. Never worry about myself. So she just said, uh, make him go on, yeah, man. Um, although she has forgiven him, she talks about his absence for her and the children's lives as she noted that if she hadn't forgiven him, she wouldn't be by his side right now. And now at 81, Carol says she's proud of the way she's lived her life in the community um, and that her love has been consistent. Um... Sir Rudolph, for his part, said she is a good woman. Yeah. No, he has trouble speaking. No. So he, um, they're saying that when he finally. Touching moments. He was, yes. yes. When that he was able he, to get When he was able out. to get something out, he whispered, mm. she's a good one. She really, listen. She's like a one. Hundred million. He found a good woman. Yeah. Anyway, back to the art. Yeah. Back, back to the discussion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you something. Sixty-five years is no joke. Some, some, some if you, if, if someone don't reach thirty, and wanna argue with an own self all the time, <laughs> it's a lot. What would I, I? Love is one of them things, though, boy. I don't. know, It's a tough one. Yeah, I think it's what people, what people are able to bear. I, I was saying to someone the other day, I think whether you've known someone for 20 years, whether you've known them for three, whether you've known them for two weeks or a month, at the end of the day, if the mindset isn't, um, I'm going to get married and whatever it takes, divorce is not an option. And that's a tough commitment to make. As people married and they don't, it's a tough commitment to make. It means that whatever comes, you're gonna sit down and say, well, have to work this out, try this out, fix yeah. this. Because, yeah. Yeah, so people see people married for a long time and they say, why? Why my marriage can You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what they've Especially been through. Especially marriages from back in the day. Yes. Right? Yes. Like, like these. Yes. That withstand the test of time. We're in a different culture and a different climate now where divorces are easy to get. And yes. People are, frankly, less tolerant of mm -hmm. certain things. Um, for some people, they will tell you, they can work with infidelity. People can change. The other people who will tell you it's something they just cannot see past. If it mm. happened one time, is is one thing. But if it happened repeatedly, forget mm -hmm. about it. So it really, I guess, just kind of depends on your your tolerance. Yeah. Your your risk appetite. Because some women are not gonna tolerate this him straying and flying away like a bird. Mm -hmm. They're not. Mm -hmm. Some they would let him loose. Yeah. Some people not go past. Some people going to say no. That, that, that there's not enough love for me to tolerate that. There are some people who, who will say, um, you know, I love him, but him not have no ambition and it just not work because me want, I'm, I'm looking for a, a power relationship where I'm growing, he's growing, him not want to go away. 
So, I love him, but it's not going to work. Um, lying. Me can't manage the lying. I think I can, I can bear just about anything if you're truthful. And I tell people that all the time. I say, my first reaction may not be what you're hoping for, depending on how bad it is, but if I think about it and I process it and we work through it, we can work through it, but, I, but the lying, because once you lie, hmm. then I thief. don't know what to believe. Once you lie, you're a thief. Once you thief, you're a... But I don't me, know, me just know what to believe, and some stuff you say, even if you tell me, say, I love me, is that a lie? Because if you lie, me can't manage the lie. Tell me the truth. I make me work it out. And I will respect you for telling me the truth. Being the big, big man, the big, yeah. um, you know. But, but the lie, me can't manage the lie. and accountability is very important. Me can't manage the lie. Tell me, say, Delia, listen, me know me they supposed to take care of the, the lie bill, but, but me and, me and the fr my friend them go out, I'm not telling a lie. We were there having a great time, and when the bill come, me just realized how much money we spent. I'm going to be so mad because I'm going to say you're careless, but I'm going to pay the bill because I'm going to make it in the house in the darkness. Um, okay, at least you tell me, so I know. But if you come and you're going to tell me, say, dealer, you know, say, scam are going, you know, mm -hmm. say, the bank just come every time and say, them scam my credit card. I'm going to say, eh? them scam my credit card. So the whole of the money gone off of the credit card. And I'm okay, then if the whole of the money, I'm Simone, you know me, you know, me, me a Marvel, me, a, me a Avengers, you know. So we tell me, say, them scam your card, me go call who need for card to shut down the card. Yeah. Go, so you go put me through a whole heap of things, and then me go find out. You say. mentioned another thing, though. Financial infidelity is a real some thing. Some people can't, but some people not do it. Never, some never, people not never. Do it. Some but that comes, I guess, it. under the broader context of lying, because... Yeah. Yes. Man. Some people, people not do it. Some people not do it. And then the women who say, you know, if him lick me, that's a sign of love. Some people no. stay in abusive relationships because mm -hmm. of their color and their context, mm -hmm. right? If mm -hmm. you don't love me, mm -hmm. you don't beat me, you don't love me. Mm -hmm. Well, another woman will say, if, you, if your hand even raise, that is my cue to leave. I'm so out. it depends on your tolerance. It, depends it really, on your tolerance. It truly does. Depends on I've, women, I've seen women where men have fathered children and they, they, stay? And they, they stay and they love the children. There are some. Once you do that, it's over. I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So I think what is important is once you enter the relationship, establish the boundaries. What will my partner not accept? What will they accept? And if we can't agree on it, make it go on. No, they agree on it. And they, because some people agree on it because they think it will never happen. Yeah. When it happens, it's another story. I can't take the line. <clears throat> and I can't take the attention seeking, like, mm -hmm. if we go out and you start at the clown, or, or the gaslighting is a real thing people too. See you. Like you talk loud, or you're doing something just to be, like you hype. <sighs> no, that's... Yeah. I could just yeah. go quietly and do what I have to do, and go, I can't... The hype and lie. Hype, lie. I'll do anything Hype, for love. I'm not going to do it. Lie, gaslighting, manipulation, abuse, infidelity. My list is very long. No, but abuse, um, now you're not going to wear for initial, not Love not coming at that, none of that. Come here, you're not. If you're, mm -mm. No. From me, oh, I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mad read about him. We're going to argue like that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Depends on your tolerance, folks. But one thing you have to know <clears throat> is your value yes. and your worth. Don't allow anybody to define you. Um, and love yourself. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. That will help to define. Do what anything you will for love except that not loving yourself. Mm -hmm. That's it for Girl Talk, everybody. <laughs>